Joining us now from uh, the Lebanese capital, Beirut, we have human rights activist uh, Rina Rabai. Uh, Ms. Rabai, welcome to the program. Uh, talk to us more about uh, the humanitarian aid that must be rendered now and the assistance that must be rendered uh, to Syria. Also, uh, I want you to highlight uh, the issue of uh, the U.S. sanctions uh, on Damascus, the sanctions that have indeed complicated international efforts in assisting Syrians who've been uh, devastated by the Monday's quakes. Uh, thank you. Uh, first, allow me please to begin by offering my condolences to the families of the victims and my prayers for the wounded to be healed and for the missing under the rubble to be saved in both Syria and Turkey. This is a tragedy in which there are no pros and cons. There should not be pros and cons. And it is a tragedy that, that stances must be unified, unified around it. It's not a war. And all stances must be humane. Turkey received the necessary solidarity, but unfortunately, unfortunately we witnessed that international discrimination in the way Syria was dealt with. We, we did witness that, only because it is under an American economic blockade. Um, we witnessed that many countries were swift in sending rescue teams and aid to Turkey, while most countries, even Arab countries, hesitated to break the American blockade on Syria in order to provide rescue to the devastated Syrian people. Uh, of course, America, America did not uh, lift its siege on Syria, even in these difficult circumstances, and it always used to pretext that it was a siege on the, on the regime and not on the people. And this is a lie that no sane person would believe. But today it has proven more clearly that its siege is on the Syrian people who elected the president and the regime which did not submit to America and did not hand over the sovereignty of Syria to America and fought the U.S. terrorist project in Syria and defeated it. And that is why the Syrian people are punished and and the consequences of the humanitarian crisis is multiplied on them today. But the most tragic thing in all of this is the response of many countries to the American blockade and the excessive reluctance to help the Syrian people, as if providing humanitarian assistance in such circumstances requires permissions from the, U from the USA. Arab countries in general, with the exception of Algeria and Iraq, were very slow and very hesitant in providing support to Syria. Even, surprisingly, the Lebanese government, which is not just a neighbor to Syria, but the Syrian and Lebanese people are brothers. The, the Lebanese government hesitated to, to provide support to Syria, while it rushed to send a team of civil defense to Turkey, providing, uh, proving that it does not represent the, the stance of the Lebanese people. Europe, in general, was lagged behind as well. This reveals the extent of the decline of sovereignty in these countries. Uh, it, is, it, is it to this degree we have to ask that the United States control the foreign decisions of all these countries? I don't want to ask if, uh, why does America control their foreign policies, but because, uh, uh, because the issue today is purely humanitarian. Uh, but I want to ask, does America also control their humanitarian decision? Does it indicate or dictate to them where and why and to whom they, they are allowed to provide humanitarian aid? Uh, here, it, here I want to note as well that some of the areas in, uh, that were very much damaged by the, by the earthquake in Syria, especially in, in uh, the north of Syria, uh, contain or many uh, opposition people gathered there in, the, in those areas. And yet the USA did not offer help to people who considered themselves allied to the, to the USA, reminding us of the way uh, the USA abandoned the, the, the Afghans. This is the way America deals with, uh, with any humanitarian issue. It is very much revealed and clear, even with people who consider themselves friends to America. All right, thanks a lot, human rights activist Mina Rabai, joining us uh, from the Lebanese capital of Beirut.